Hello, this is Kevin Amont from the X-Rite Applications Department. Today I will be demonstrating how to install and set up your i1 Display LT, i1 Display 2, or i1 Pro bundle, such as the i1 Basic uh, and i1 Extreme. I'm going to begin by telling you that uh, make sure that your instrument, that is your i1 Display or i1 Pro, is not plugged into your computer until after the software is completely installed in, and until you restart your computer after installing the software. That's very important. Don't plug in the instrument until after the software is completely installed. Now your iWin product will ship with a uh, software installation CD, an application CD, but uh, if you're using Windows 7 or Windows Vista, or if you're on a Macintosh running Leopard or Snow Leopard, it would be advisable for you to go to the X-Rite website and download the most current version. If you go to www.xrite, that is X-Rite with no hyphen, dot com, this will be our home page. Go to support and downloads. Scroll down to the list of products, and it is alphabetized until you get to I1 Match. That is the letter I, the number one match. That's the software that the I1 product line uses to build and generate profiles. When you're at the support page for I1 Match, click on the top blue bar that says Software Downloads. You'll see software for PC and for Mac. The most current version, 3.6.3 for Mac, is good for uh, Snow Leopard and previous versions. Whereas the 3.6.2 for PC is good for, uh, I, uh, for Windows 7, both 32 and 64 bit, as well as previous versions. I'm on a PC, so I'm going to select the 3.6.2 for PC. And then in the next page, go to download, select the click on PC version, and that should bring up the file download. I always recommend saving the file, and I'm going to save it right to my desktop and select save. After it downloads, I'm on XP. It would be fine for me to select run and then run and that should launch the installer and I would select OK to English and install from there. I, I'm going to cancel out of this because I'm also going to take you to how to install from the CD. Keep in mind I'm going to close out of the internet right now and go to the CD but keep in mind that on a uh, Windows 7 or Windows Vista goes out of that, go to the installer that's on the desktop and right click on it and then left click run as administrator. That's going to ensure that all the files get written to the right folders. Again, Vista and Windows 7 only, it would be advisable to right click on the download and left click run as administrator. Now I just put in my software CD and when the launch screen opens up you're going to have four options along the top of the window. Four different uh, programs, utilities that you'll be able to install from the CD. And allow a moment or two for the, uh, the splash screen to open and mine is open. This is not an application, this is actually installers. It's i1 Match, i1 Share, i1 Diagnostics, and i1 Color Point. I'm going to begin with i1 Color Point. i1 Color Point is a utility that allows you to select projector profiles in PowerPoint. Only the i1 Extreme uh, has the ability to build projector profiles, so there's no need to have this utility installed unless you're building projector profiles. I1 Diagnostics, 
uh, can be used with any of the devices. It's actually a diagnostic software that we might want to uh, use if we suspect a, an instrument malfunction on, on your end. We might ask you to connect your device and go to I1 Diagnostics. I1 Share is a utility that's used for spot measuring and evaluating spot colors but it's only you can only use it with an i1 basic an i1 pro bundle uh, such as an i1 basic or an i1 extreme if you have an i1 display product uh, you won't be able to use i1 share with that device so uh, only install the i1 share if you're using an i1 pro bundle such as the i1 basic and i1 extreme the i1 match is the program that will generate all profiles with any of the uh, i1 devices. That is the i1 Display LT, i1 Display 2, or i1 Pro. And again, after I select uh, the i1 Match and click on that, it'll launch the installer. I'm going to select the English language, go forward next and I'm going to accept the license agreement and hit next. This is the default location. I'm going to install to there. You are free to install uh, somewhere else on your hard drive if you wish. Um, I, I'm going to select install from this window and it's going to begin to extract the files and install the software. Now on uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7. Uh, this installer should uh, run just the same way. It's very simple. Uh, next and install. Again, keep in mind that your instrument should not be plugged in yet. Uh, you don't plug in the device until after the software is completely installed and after restarting the computer. Please see the um, video about installing the device driver as well uh, for the second part of the install and setup. For this, we're going to just take you through the software install. If you see a window asking for the X-Rite device services, uh, to grant ownership to the product that you're installing, select yes. These are the release notes for i1 Match 362. Select next, and this is where you complete the i1 setup. Uh, selecting finish here will restart your computer, and the software at restart, then it'll be time to load the device driver by plugging in the device after restarting. So this is how you would uh, install the software on your computer for the i1 Display LT, i1 Display 2, or i1 Pro bundle such as the i1 Basic or Extreme. Uh, selecting Finish will restart your computer and uh, again make sure that you view the device driver install video.